Good morning, grandkids. We are starting with a new mini series this morning. Uh, this is Ward, a mountain man, and it's just him and his dog, Bones. Well, Bones, what do you think we should do today, huh? Might be a nice day for hunting up in the mountains. We need to check our fishing traps before we go. Let me look around and see if everything's left in order. And then we'll get out of here. It's nice in here by the fire, though. I wish I could get you to sleep on that couch, Bones. <laughs> It'd be nice and comfy for you, but I know you like laying on the rugs and in front of the fire. That's okay. All right, I've left everything pretty much in order. See what our fish pins doing. Oh, of course it'd be nighttime out. We don't want to start up in the mountains in the nighttime. I don't think. I don't think I want to do a nighttime hunt. I don't think I need to do anything to get anything ready. Let's check the fishing pen. I think the fish are all asleep. Act, let's activate the fish hatchery. That's what I've got in there? No. That says give. Why do I want to give it? If I've got it, I want to keep it. I certainly don't want to raise any slaughter fish. Well, we'll check later with what's going on here. Do you like it down in the water, Bones? <laughs> it's kind of cold down there, isn't it? Well, you didn't come inside. Oh my God, you're stuck in the floor. Let's go. Oh my God, he's going to be glitched out. He still didn't come in. Well, I'm gonna wait till morning. At least seven hours. Or I ought to make me a fur cloak or something. Come on, Bones. Where are you at? Come on. He's stuck. Come on.
There you go, buddy. Yeah, that's a good dog. That's a good dog. Don't know if the elk will be running or not, but any pelts we bring in will get us enough money. We don't need much, do we, boy? Don't you worry, none. Old Ward will always have food for you. Better get my bow out. My bow. In case I see something. There was a little arctic fox. Snow fox. Where'd you go? He ran off. You coming, boy? Yeah, you're a good dog, Bones. Pretty soon it'll be time for us to go into town, Bull owns and then we'll uh, sell some of our pelts and meat. I'll fix us a good hot dinner tonight. You'll like that, won't you? What is this place? Um, do we want to go in here? To Shadow Green Cavern. We might save that for later, huh? I need to go get us some pelts and meat. Did we get up there? Nah. Not worth the effort. Don't lay down on the job. It's always fun in between the hunt to just mosey around this coastline down by the water. We might not see anything today, boy. It's either too cold or too mild. I don't see any elk running. It doesn't seem to be anybody along the road to be disturbing the wildlife. strange. I haven't seen it so quiet out here in a while. I wonder if something's around that the animals are aware of and don't want to tangle with. Very weird. Ah, oh, I missed him. Oh no! Missed him again. Ah! Bone 
Sometimes I think I'm losing my touch. Let's see if I can get any of these arrows back I'm wasting. I got them scattered all over the snow. All right. Yeah, you always find a little bit of time to take a rest, don't you? made us a bunch of arrows a little while back, but I'm going to waste go. all of them. Now what? Who said that? Who is it, boy? Job. Good job, Bones. Hmm, I don't know what that was rolling down. Good boy. I really don't like these witches around in our neighborhood. Hey, we could sell that robe in town. Maybe get something for that dagger, too. Nah. to get farther up in the mountains, boy. If I keep missing anything like I did that fox, we might starve to death. <laughs> nah, I'll never let you go hungry, Bones. Never. It's me and you. You're a good dog. Come on, boy. Come, you can jump that. Walk around it. Come on. There you go. Uh-oh, I hear wolves. Be ready. You okay, Bones? Was that the only one? Got us a pelt. We're going to have dinner tonight. been attacking. You do such a good job. Well, you want to run back home? Get warmed up? Sit by the fire a little bit? 
maybe have a snack. Home always looks so good, don't it? I wish you'd ever come in when I want you to. Ah, that fire feels nice and warm. You know, Bones, did I ever tell you why I call you Bones? Up in them mountains one day, when I heard a weak, whimpering sound, I tracked you down to a snow-covered bush, and there you were, curled up and shivering. Looked like nothing but a pile of bones, so skinny, hardly alive. I scooped you up and tucked you inside my tunic, and brought you back to the cabin, put you down by the fire, and started, and feeding, started feeding you up. I don't think you barely moved for a couple of days. <laughs> I used to sit down there on the floor by you and talk to you. And look at you now, boy. Couldn't ask for a better friend. You just prefer to stay out here. I wish you'd follow me inside when I want you to, instead of just whenever you want to. Maybe we ought to think about getting to a town, selling off some of our stuff. Let me see what we got going on. I have an ice wolf pelt to sell and three snow fox pelts and two wolf pelts. That'd be nice to take in there, but... Let's see. Let's talk about this situation. You know, Bones, I woke up in a low mood this morning. I dreamed of my dear Maddie. She was a good woman. You would have loved her. And she would have loved you, too. Wish I'd have found you before she passed away. Ah, well, I know time's passed, but she'll always be there in my dreams, I reckon. Well, in a little bit, we'll head into one of the towns and get rid of some stuff. Okay, Bones? A little bit later. Okay, grandkids, that's the end of our first episode of Ward the Mountain Man. 
so we will see you when we come back. I hope you kind of enjoyed it. This will just be a little run. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.